Hi everyone, it is Future Lottie here. So basically, I've just gone on the computer to edit the vlog and I've realised I didn't, I've not got an intro and I think I've deleted the intro. So this is a really quick intro before I get into the video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing family picks my read. So basically I get my mum to pick a book and I get my sister to pick a book and I get my husband to pick a book and then I read those books pretty much. So yeah, that's my really, really quick intro and then yeah, gonna get into the video now. So. I'm gonna get my mum to pick my first read, but I can't actually decide what genre I want to read. I don't know whether I wanna read a romance, a thriller, a fantasy, what. So I'm gonna get my mum to pick which one. So I'm just gonna message her now. What genre shall I read, romance, fantasy, or thriller? And she has said thriller. So I'm gonna pick The Only One Left by Riley Sager and Never Lie by Frieda McFadden. So I'm gonna send her both of the book covers and then she's gotta tell me which one she wants me to read and her reasoning for that. And she has said, never lie by Freedom McFadden because lies can come back and haunt you. I'm going to be reading Never Lie by Freedom McFadden and I'm really excited to get into another one of her books because I've read The Housemaid by her a while ago and I really enjoyed it. So I've been wanting to read one of her thrillers for ages. So it's a good excuse to make me actually do it. So I'm going to get this downloaded on my Kindle and then I'm going to start this tonight. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten. I ran away with my life, fast forward, never turn back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to say. I am currently over halfway through. Never Lie by Freedom McFadden and I am absolutely loving it so far. This is, yeah, it's one of those thrillers that's just really, really fast paced and just easy to read. So I am loving it. I'm on chapter 29, which is 54%. So I am flying through this. I read quite a lot of it last night and then I've read quite a lot of it today. But apparently I've got about two hours left, so I could possibly finish this tonight. And it's told back and forth with two timelines. So there's the present day where there's this woman called Trisha and her husband, Ethan. They've been married six months and they're going to view this massive house um, and he wants to move in there but she is feeling a bit iffy about it she thinks she thinks there's someone in the house and she's just feeling a bit uneasy about it and they get stuck there in a snowstorm so they're basically having to live in this house until the storm clears up and she's also found like a secret room um in like the living room there's like a secret room behind a bookcase which she's found which has loads of like tapes and they're tapes of like therapy sessions from the person who used to live there um, and then the in the past, they're about three, something more than three years ago kind of time, and they're told by the perspective of the woman who used to live in the house, and she was the therapist, and she was the one doing taping all her therapy sec sessions, and this woman had had supposedly died three years ago and they never figured out why how she died or whatever so obviously there's going to be things that the woman trisha is going to find out about the therapist and i'm guessing she'll maybe find out how she died or what happened to her this is the third book by freedom at fadden that i've read and i haven't been disappointed by any of them so far so definitely pick this up but hopefully the ending will be good i've heard good things about this book so hopefully the ending won't let won't let it down but i have a feeling it's going to be good So last night I finished Never Lie by Freedom McFadden and oh my gosh, it was so good. It was so, so good. I have ended up giving it a four and a half out of five stars though, just because I can't explain why without giving it away, really. But it's just the way the narrative was told. No, I don't know. The perspective, mm, no, I can't really tell you without giving it away. But there's just one thing about it which I think wasn't done that well. There was a certain plot twist where the main character, one of the main characters being told from their perspective didn't really work and I can't explain exactly why. I can't really say any more than that because I don't want to give anything away. But yeah, I did really, really enjoy this. I definitely recommend it and I definitely want to read all of Freedom McFadden's backlist. There's like no part in the book that's pointless. All, every single sentence that she writes has a purpose and every single little detail that she picks out has a purpose and I love that. There's no like 
pointless things that she talks about there's nothing that's just ramble you know it's just all straight to the point and it's just so good so I fully enjoyed that read it in less than 24 hours so it's now the next day and I'm gonna message my sister to pick between two books so I've said time for you to pick my next book I'm gonna send her um my roommate is a vampire which i've seen so many people reading at the moment um and it's just one that you know everyone's reading at the moment and it's that kind of time of year the other one oh and that one was by jenna levine jenna Den, jenna levine this one and then the next one is this one the very secret society of irregular witches by sangu Man mandana and I've seen also a lot of people reading this at the moment because they're both kind of obviously that one's witches and then this one's got a vampire in it so it's kind of good for like October this time of year so I've said to her which one do you pick and why so she has said my roommate is a vampire because Halloween is coming up and the front cover looks very intriguing so looks like I'm going to be reading that next it looks like I'm going to be reading this so I'm going to start this tonight I'm going to have dinner soon and then I'm going to the gym for an hour I've got two gym classes that I'm going to and then I'll come back have a shower and then I will start this I probably won't get much read tonight because I'll be back late from the gym and showering and everything but I'll probably read for at least an hour or so Hi everyone, I am just making some pasta for my lunch. So I just thought I'd film a quick clip to let you know how I'm getting on with the book so far. So I'm currently about 35% of the way through, about just over 100 pages. And so this book's basically about this girl who's like struggling to pay her rent and stuff. She gets kicked out of her old apartment. So she's looking for somewhere really cheap to rent and she ends up picking this one that's this really old house and for some reason he's only charging $200 a month, which is obviously stupidly cheap. Especially as he lives in this really nice apartment that looks out onto the lake and stuff like that. So obviously it's really, really cheap so she goes ahead and then she just had this guy who she shares the apartment with he's just very odd and he he only comes out at night he's asleep during the day and obviously that's weird anyway but she thought maybe he was a doctor and had like a night job or something and he speaks really like old-fashioned and he doesn't understand what wi-fi is he doesn't understand what like yeah he doesn't understand anything modern and also he doesn't even know like what pots and pans you'd need or what a saucepan is or whatever like he doesn't really know all these kind of things because obviously from the title of the book he's obviously a vampire so that's not a spoiler because it's literally in the title of the book so he's obviously a vampire so he obviously doesn't need to cook and stuff so he doesn't know he doesn't understand any of that kind of stuff and at the moment i'm kind of at a part where she's finding out what he actually is and she's she's wanting to find out more really so that's that that's all i'm at so far and i'm hoping that now she knows what he is that the book's not going to get quite boring because there's still like 70 percent of the book left so i'm hoping that it will still stay interesting um i do like the male character he's quite funny because obviously he doesn't understand modern things and that kind of thing so they're like passing letters between each other that they stick on like the um like little notes they leave for each other in the kitchen and stuff that's how they've mostly been communicating and his letters are just quite funny because he just be, he doesn't understand what things are and it's just quite amusing so I'm enjoying that part of it and I'm hoping that it will continue I think I'm going to read a little bit while I have my lunch so I'm just making my pasta I'm just I'm just getting it all ready cooking some chicken and some mushrooms and stuff to put in it and yeah i'll read for a little bit at lunch while i'm having a break because i'm working from home today and then and then i'll read like a load more this evening i'm sure a collab video that I'm doing with someone and I've also just filmed my October wrap up and last night I read a huge amount of My Roommate is a Vampire and I'm about 75 to 80 percent of the way through I can't quite remember how far I am I think actually it might be about 80 percent through so I haven't got actually too much left I've got about an hour and 20 minutes left of that book so I'll tell you my thoughts about that in a second but for now because I'm nearly finished with that book I'll probably start a new book tonight I'm just gonna, because my husband's at work, I'm just gonna send him a couple book covers like I've done with my mum and my sister previously to see which book he wants me to read next and why. So I'm kind of feeling maybe something fantasy based. So I was thinking 
I've been wanting to read this for a while. I've had it on my shelf for a little while. These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. So I think I might pick that for one of them. I'm not an entirely... I'm not entirely sure what this book's about, but I've heard it's kind of like a, a worse version of Akatar, but we will see. So I'm going to pick that. And also, I know there's a series on Kindle Unlimited, which I think is called like the Lachlan Feud series or something. I've seen a couple people on YouTube read it. It's not really talked about very much, but I know each of the books are quite short. So I think I might put the first book in that series there as well which i'll put the cover here it's called scarlet princess so i think i'm going to send those two to him and see which one he picks so i've just sent him both the book covers and i've put which one of these two books should i read and why they're both fantasy by the way just so that he knows what they actually are both kind of roughly about so i'll come back to you when he's replied because he's at work he might not reply straight away so while while i'm waiting for a reply i will update you on my current read so as i said i read quite a lot of my roommate is a vampire last night i got to about 80 percent so i've not got much of it left so i will finish it tonight most likely but i am actually really enjoying this i didn't think i would because the rating on goodreads is only like 3.58 or something like that it's not a very high rating so I thought I wouldn't really enjoy this but I've actually been enjoying this a lot more than I thought I would and it's quite funny there's just parts of it which make me kind of like giggle to myself the main character Cassie she's kind of showing this guy Frederick her roommate she's like showing him how to be modern because he's very old-fashioned and because basically she finds out that he's Please skip ahead like a couple minutes if you don't want to know anything about this book because I'm gonna like say some like minor spoilers. But basically she finds out he's a vampire obviously as you know from the title of the book and stuff but she finds out that he's been asleep for about 100 years so he's obviously he knows things from 100 years ago so he doesn't know any of this modern stuff, modern technology, nothing. All the slang that we talk nowadays we speak very differently now to how people did 100 years ago so he's trying to like learn how to blend in with modern society and the main character to te um, Cassie she's like teaching him how to do these things and taking him to parties with her and going to coffee shops teaching him how to order a coffee and like basic things like that so it's just very amusing and this guy the thing some of the things he says are just really funny and I just really am enjoying that and I know this book is like completely unrealistic and very it's quite cringy like it's quite predictable I suppose but it's just enjoyable it's just a fun time and I'm just really enjoying myself so yeah i'll give you another update on the book once i have finished and i'll let you know my final thoughts but i'm hoping the last 20 percent of it doesn't let me down because i'm loving this book so far i am back and he has replied now i'll put what he put up on the screen here he said hmm as i don't really know about either one of them i can only speculate and guess what they could be based off the artwork they're both definitely fantasy top one is giving assassin type vibes and the bottom one is maybe some medieval type thing maybe i say go for option two so he has picked Scarlet Princess by, who's actually by? Robin D. Merle and L. Madison. Never heard of any of either of those authors. So looks like I'll be starting another book on my Kindle tonight. It seems like I've been ages since I've read like a physical book because <laughs> I've been reading so many on my Kindle recently. But yeah, so my plan for this evening is to finish My Roommate is a Vampire and then I'm going to move on and start the next book for this video. had ended up being a bit of a fail and the reason for that is because the last book that I read for this vlog kind of put me in a bit of a slump and it took me a long time to get through so I think in the last time I spoke to you I was almost finished with My Roommate is a Vampire and I actually really really enjoyed this book so this one was I enjoyed a lot more than I thought I was going to this sort of book I normally go into thinking I'm going to give it like a three stars kind of thing like it's just going to be okay fun you know just a little palette cleanser but I actually really really enjoyed this I find it quite funny there was little parts of it that was like giggling to myself and I just really enjoyed this book to be honest I thought it was just very very cute 
So I ended up giving it 4.25 stars. And then I moved on to read Scarlet Princess, which is the first in a fantasy series. It's on Kindle Unlimited, which was the one that my husband chose for me to read. And this book just had a very slow start and I didn't really care about the characters. And I was just wasn't, I don't know, it took me a while to get through it. So I remember I put it down for a while and then I started reading something else and then I came back to it and I never ended up picking up the camera again. But this book was okay in the end i found the ending good but it was just the journey to get to the ending was just a bit slow luckily the book was only just over 200 pages i think so it wasn't too long i'm unsure as to whether i want to continue on with the rest of the series i gave the first book 3.25 stars and yeah the ending was okay but it was just the beginning parts like and yeah it was just nothing unique there was nothing about it that was gripping me and there is a romance that kind of happens quite quickly and i feel like I didn't really feel the romance either. I didn't really connect to the characters in that way. Yay. Aww. Hey, baby girl. Oh, so cute. But yeah, anyway, that book was just okay. It wasn't anything special. I wouldn't really recommend it, but I don't know. Apparently the series does get a lot, lot better after the first book. So I feel like I kind of want to give at least the second book a try. And if I'm still not 100% feeling it, then I might not continue the series. But I think I may continue at least one more book. So they're only short books. Each of the books are quite short. So, but anyway, I think I'm going to just end the vlog here. It's probably a really short vlog in the end because I didn't vlog any of the last book at all. Um, because it just kind of put me in a bit of a slump to be honest. But moving on from that, I will just close this video now and that, yeah, I'm just going to put out whatever content I have for this video on and make something out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this probably very short vlog. But yeah, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it and please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.